Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. Time for another guide looking at popular modelling products. Here's what we'll be looking at this time. Here's some products from Reality in Scale. We've been sent these by the company's owner, Olav, for review. Reality in Scale is a specialist aftermarket accessories and diorama producer from the Netherlands. Their catalogue boasts all sorts of really useful products that will help you with your modelling. This collection contains some of their smaller diorama accessories. So what are we going to be looking at? There's this item, which is the old pier, reference 35196 in 135th scale. As well there's this, the large North African well, item 35208 in 135th scale. And there are these large tree trunks, again 135th scale, item number 35245. For the smaller boxes, there's item 35240, crushed German World War II oil drums. We've got some common German boxes, seven boxes and archer decals, again 135th scale, number 35246. Item number 35210 of food supplies number 3, followed up by 35184 cardboard boxes, 12 pieces. Again, this set comes with decals. Diorama base is a small road section, 35252. And then in the printed media, we've got all sorts of things. We've got posters, street signs, carpets, and other propaganda type posters. We'll just look at those individually later on, but there's plenty in there that we'll be looking at. Let's get started. First up is the old pier. Here's what you get. There's a bridge section. It's large enough to put a motorbike or something like that on it. Very well molded. These clearly are the wooden support poles for the pier. Very convincing texture there. As a bird to put on your pier. You get a wooden barrel and also you get a wooden crate, a length of string, a mooring point, a tyre and another gangplank. So that makes up all the constituent parts of the old pier. So let's move on to the next one. Out of the box instantly we can see the central component very realistically capturing a sort of stone construction of the well there. It's a fairly hefty chunk of well cast resin. It's hollow so you can dig a deeper well or add water. In this plastic sachet is a bit of rod that's explained in the, uh, in the instructions. Some string and a little bit of wire. In the other bag are the additional elements. What we'll do is we'll just lay them out so you can see them. It's fairly simple this set. You get a very convincing sort of water carrier. There's a top for the well that captures neatly a sort of reed type texture of the drinking sheepskin. That's the bucket and then the crossbeam. And that's it. So very simple but exquisitely cast but otherwise it's a fairly complete and very convincing North African well. After that we have this, the large tree trunks. There's one, two, three, four, five of those. The box shows them just as trunks and you can use them as damaged tree trunks, no problem. But also what you could do is drill in holes and add branches from materials like sprue or copper wire and then you can add further smaller branches to it. The texture is really convincing and there's different types. It's slightly smoother bark on that one. That one again is, is a different type of bark texture. And you can see the detail of the splintered wood at the top there. 
All in all, these may seem like fairly simple accessories, but actually to recreate that yourself would be quite time consuming. So it's really useful to have these just as a quick way to add a bit of tree trunk detail. A simple but effective accessory. In this sturdy plastic box, typical of the range, we've got the crushed German oil drums. Let's just take a quick look at those. This is once more a very simple, very useful accessory, typical of when oil drums get burnt or damaged by heat. Perfect fuel dioramas. And you get quite a few. Also, you can use these as if they've been crushed by vehicles, damaged by heat, submerged, or just dented. On to the next one now. This sort of thing is a great idea. You don't often get cardboard boxes depicted on models, but you find them in all sorts of places in real life. And these are all crushed and damaged. Plus you get some markings as well. That one appears to have sort of vegetables inside it. You get string detail. Very useful if you're equipping a civilian flatbed truck, something like that. Certainly original, definitely useful, and a great idea for your models and dioramas. This is food supplies number three, and this is a great little set. Some really useful things in here. We particularly like the sacks of food and supplies with a really authentic cloth-like texture. You can see that clearly on these smaller little sacks of sugar or what have you. There's another nice sack of potatoes there. You also get baskets too, like this one. You do also get some decals. Colombian blend coffee and various other little food decals to go with your sacks of produce. And these are particularly fun, these cauliflower type vegetables. Great idea for a diorama set, this. Some grapes there. Here's that very simple small road section. Great idea this, just for displaying a vehicle. It's the perfect dimensions. 15 centimetres by 10 and a half. So if you don't have the time or you can't be bothered to make your own base, this is the perfect solution. There's a concrete hard standing with some cracks and joins, a little bit of textured soil, and some tree trunk remnants, and then the bricks. Here's a very quick selection of some of their printed products, and we'll just run through them briefly. This really is an example of what you can expect in their range. You've got items like this one, 35028, mixed commercial and political posters from the World War II era from the Netherlands. They're printed to a high standard on very thin paper, so you can attach them to your buildings and the walls of your dioramas. Also for your dioramas and vehicles, you've got items like this, number 35049, World War II maps, printed on extra thin paper. This item is 35002, enamel street signs and numbers from Germany. Again, very useful to decorate your diorama buildings. If you want to give your soldiers some reading material, there's 35189, copies of the German propaganda magazine Signal. That's a handy idea because these were widely distributed to troops and civilians alike. Another advertising type release, 35010, enamel advertising signs from France. Once again, beautifully printed, slightly thicker paper, because these are enamel signs, you just cut them out and glue them to your models. Reality and Scale does also print on other materials. This, for example, again from the Netherlands, is 35234, business signs on real wood. Likewise, this is for your diorama interiors of buildings. It's actually embossed. You should be able to see there. And this is to decorate the inside of your buildings. That one is 35107, 3D wall tiles. This is item 35001, carpets for your buildings and interiors, 148th and 135th scale. And it's printed in a very finely woven sort of fabric to replicate the effect of real cloth. All in all, a great selection of products there this is just a small taster. There's hundreds of these sort of useful releases. They're available either from Reality and Scale or via Hysterex agents. 
If, like us, you haven't tried out their products before, then give them a go. They're really excellent, they come highly recommended, and they're available now. There's more videos on the website, and you can check out our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter communities. Bye for now.